Good morning. Acts 14, verse 27. Now when they had come and gathered the church together, they reported all that God had done with them, that he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. God had opened the door of faith. And to go through this door, it takes faith. It always takes faith. For we walk by faith and not by sight. You have to be, to be able to take that step through the door of faith. You must set your affections, affections and your heart on God and move into the unseen realm, the spiritual realm, by faith. You have to be willing to believe that the things you couldn't do yesterday, you will do today. And if you take that step of faith, where there was once the despair of hope deferred, you will step by faith into a new hope-filled place. But you have to be willing to take the risk and to believe again. Hope deferred can sometimes leave us so shattered we can't bring ourselves to believe again. We don't want to be disappointed again. We don't want to hurt anymore. If you have to, pray like the man in Mark 9, 24. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Revelation 3, 8. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. You have a little strength. You are holding on to God's word. Step through the door of faith. Let's pray. Father, hopelessness has got to go in our lives. Doubt and unbelief have to go. You have set a door of faith before us. And as we take this new opportunity to take a step of faith, Father, turn our small step into a leap through the door of faith. Let hope be restored as we move to faith and begin to see your will manifest in our lives, in our church, in our community, Lord, in our nation. Let the gift of the Spirit be active again and increase as we use it. Holy Spirit, fill me with your gift of faith for what God is doing right now. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Remove any doubt and unbelief from me, Jesus. Let me believe your word and pray your word and decree your word. Lead us to specific passages from your word to use as we pray. And let us begin to see our things begin to turn around that will increase our faith. I decree that a door of faith is right in front of me, and I am going to get through it. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Jesus, I will rejoice in you with every small step of faith I take as I pray in your name. Amen.